Hello and welcome to a discussion on preparation of financial statements. In this session, we'll take few business decisions, understand them and convert them into financial statements. So the set of transactions as usual given will convert these transactions into financial statements. So started business with cash, so it's a receipt, so capital it will be shown in the cash flow statement and this is not an income but a source and the source in the form of capital. Loan avail is again a receipt, 6% loan, 6% loan, the firm has received 100,000 and loan is a source and a liability, 6% um, loan is shown as a liability, so a receipt in this case is a liability. Purchase stock on credit is acquisition of asset. We call that asset as inventory and inventory acquisition 120 resulted in creation of a liability called creditors. So creditor will appear on the balance sheet. Sold 60% of the stock for cash. So sale is an income. So sales is income 150,000 and sales has been received so sales is also an inflow or receipt and whenever there is a sale because of the matching principle there has to be cost of goods sold and cost of goods sold is 60% of this stock so 60% of 0.60 of 120,000. So the inventory will reduce to the extent of 72,000. Inventory is an asset as long as it is not sold and inventory will become cost of goods sold or an expense when it is sold because of the matching principle. Salary for the period, salary is an expense. So salary will be shown as an expense and since it has been paid, salary is an outflow or a payment to. So since expense is equal to payment, so there is no asset or no liability. So is the case with the rent paid. So the rent for the period is assumed to be the amount that has been paid. So 24,000, no outstanding, no advance. Purchase stock for cash. Once again an inventory has been purchased. But this time inventory has been purchased for cash, so therefore inventory will increase to the extent of the new acquisition of inventory. So we have now inventory of 98,000. Sold 50% of the balance stock, so we have 98,000 stock and has been sold for 100,000. The cost of Corresponding goods sold, COGS, is equal to 49,000, 49,000, so COGS will reduce the inventory to that extent. We can see that inventory has changed during this period. Acquisition of asset resulting in creation of a liability and outflow of cash and this asset has been sold by whenever the goods have been sold, the COGS becomes an expense. Interest paid for the period, we have assumed the period to be an year. So interest is 6% on 100,000. 6% is the rate of interest given there. So 6% and let us assume that interest has been paid during the period 6,000. So all the expenses have been paid during the period. So the total income is 250,000. Total expenses is 169,000. So profit is 81,000. 
if no information given we will retain the profit that means profit has not been distributed so the entire profit has been retained on the balance sheet now we'll find the cash in hand cash in hand is a cash available minus the cash payment so cash payment is 98000 so cash available is 302000 so cash in hand cash in hand is 302000 so 6% loan so cash in hand is 398000 so the capital 150, loan 100, sales is uh, once again goods have been sold, so therefore sales is 200. We can see that the total sales is equal to 250. So the cash in hand is 402, and cash in hand is an asset, and the balance sheet tallies. So conversion of transactions into financial statements, it is necessary and advisable to check the transaction by transaction, understand the effect of each transaction on the balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement. While doing that, it is necessary to use the elements given in the conceptual framework, whether it is an asset or a liability or return equity or income or expense. Now let us take this question forward so that now examine the impact of the profit if the rent has not been paid. Assuming all other things remaining constant, if the rent has not been paid then the only effect will be on the cash flow statement no effect on the income statement because the income statement is prepared on the basis of the accrual principle. So the rent has been not been paid, so in a cash flow statement, zero rent, whereas income statement rent has to be shown because of the accrual principle. So there is a liability, the, if the rent is 24,000 minus the rent paid zero, if the expense is more than the payment or if the payment is less than the expense, that particular expense, then the balance is considered as an outstanding expense or rent payable, which is a liability. So payment or a non-payment of an expense is not going to affect profit because the profit is determined on the basis of, uh, on the, basis of the accrual principle. Thank you very much.